Hi, it's Liz from Sew for Home, and with me today are three embroidered draw cord gift bags. This is such a fun, easy, and quick project, and as you can see by all the beautiful colors of fabric, it's a great scrap busters project as well. One of the things that, of course, really make these particular bags kind of custom and unique is the beautiful machine embroidery that we've put on the front panel. Now, we used the Janome Horizon Memory Craft 15,000, and these are two of the built-in machine embroidery designs on that particular model. And then we used a built-in monogram. So it's really a great selection of options. I love this little sock monkey. <laughs> That's from their world of embroidery selection. And this deer is actually a cross stitch design. The detail of this one is great. And the classic monogram, that is a great one that makes it kind of a sleek and maybe a little more masculine type of a look. Of course, if you decide not to use embroidery, no problem. You could insert another fabric panel in there, or maybe you could choose to do some applique or even a little bit of hand embroidery embellishment. The choice, of course, is always up to you. Thanks to a generous sponsorship from our friends at Janome America, there is a full pattern set for this particular project. Now, that might seem a little odd for you. It's like, well, aren't they just all squares and rectangles? Yes, they are. And what makes it a little bit different is that we're really emphasizing how much more wonderful it's gonna look if you fuzzy cut all of your panels. So by having this pattern, you can print it on just regular printer paper, which is pretty see-through, or even a tissue paper. And that way you can use this as the template for each of your fussy cut panels. And if you're choosing to do embroidery, you can see we have the guidelines on there for you to position your embroidery. And then of course the base panel, and that just makes sure that you've got that exact measurement and everything's gonna go together beautifully. And then the casing, which is one you're going to cut out, but together cut two of those to make your draw cord casing. It just makes it that much more precise to put everything together and know that you're going to come out with a beautiful result. So I want to talk just a minute more about these great embroidery designs. And I want to give a shout out to Janome for how easy and intuitive they make their built-in editing. So you can see, as I mentioned before, we have three different embroidery designs. But when we started with them, the actual size of each of them was a little bit different, but no problem because it's super easy to enlarge or reduce by 20% right on screen using all the onboard tools. So we kind of started with our monogram. We knew what size we wanted that one to be. And then we looked at our sock monkey, which was kind of a bigger design. And so we were easily able to reduce it by 20% to an 80% size but our little deer, it needed to be beefed up a little bit to match the others. So that one we increased by 20% to 120%, and then they all go together beautifully. Again, so easy to do, right on screen, make everything match. Thanks, Janome. I'm back and I've taken the contents out of a couple of my bags because I want to talk to you a little bit about the linings. Yes, the bags have a full lining which makes them beautifully finished inside and out. And you can see that we used a fun print on this one, a little banana print to go with our sock monkey, but this one is just a solid lining. Both of the bags have a square inset base, which means both the lining and the exterior bag have that same square inset base. So you're going to make a four panel exterior and a four panel lining. You're gonna drop the lining into the bag and there you have it. But what makes it especially cool, I think, is because we wanted this to be a fast and easy project, there's no complicated turning inside and out with this particular project. Instead, the casing is attached to the lining of the bag. So you're gonna put the casing on flat to start, 
drop it into the bag, wrap it over to the top and top stitch. The other thing that's super cool about that is that you have very little visible stitching either on the lining side or on the front of the bag. So again, a beautiful finish all around. And that makes it kind of nice, I think, because of course they are gift bags. That's what we designed them to be. But once the gift giving is done, how cute would these be? Like for a travel bag, put your lingerie in those and pop them in the suitcase. So it's like two gifts in one, love it. So I wanna talk just a little bit more about that draw cord channel and the cording that goes through in either direction. Now you can see we just used a real standard satin polyester cording. It's about an eighth of an inch in diameter. If you can use a polyester based cording, that's gonna be the easiest for you because with that polyester, you can just kind of very lightly pass it through a flame, like on a lighter or just a little match, and that's gonna seal it. You're not gonna to have to worry about any raveling, and it just makes finishing these little tiny ends so much easier. No raveling and fraying, anything like that. So as I said, it goes through both directions. So you end up with two tails on either side, which then we split into four ends and we have these cute little wooden beads that we strung on either end. You could use any kind of bobble that you want, some ceramic beads, jewelry findings, maybe some little jingle bells, but it really is just a cute little finishing touch that you can use. So there we have our embroidered draw cord gift bags and our thanks again to Genomi America for sponsoring the project. So you can find everything free on Sofa Home right now all the instructions, the full pattern download. And if you do have a Janome embroidery machine, or if you're thinking about shopping for one, really dig into those built-in embroidery designs and monogramming designs. I think you'll be surprised at how many of them that there are in the machines. I think sometimes we kind of gloss over it, or sometimes we think about, oh, I'm gonna use an outside design, or I'm just gonna go to my favorite over and over again. But there is so much variety in there, and it's fun to just jump in and try something new, just a little single design on an easy project like this. Give it a go. So thanks again to Genomi America and happy sewing.